On to a weekly feature, Citizen Planet. Now, a coffee factory in Nyeri has become part of global initiative to mitigate effects of climate change by adapting green energy in its operations. Our reporter, Kamau Mwangi, visited the factory that has embraced solar power as their primary source of power in its production. Mm. Had you been at the Kiando Coffee Factory a day earlier to this day, the noises of a running generator or the ever-present fear of a power blackout would have been so loud as the factory carried on its daily operations to meet the needs of the market in good time to fetch the prevailing prices. Today, coffee farmers at the factory are in a rather joyous mood. They are set to launch what could be a defining moment for them that is taking their rightful place in mitigating the effects of climate change as they unveil this 30 million Kenya shilling solar facility as the factory goes fully green. We have been using a lot of money on, uh, on diesel, electricity, and the farmers actually want more money in their pocket. The alternative way of doing this uh, is to use solar energy so that uh, the farmer himself can actually save. Uh, the other thing is the climate change. When the weather is bad, we actually take a lot of time to dry the coffee. The lighter ones goes to the middle one. Engineer Peter Ndumia, a son of this community, is the brains behind the solar-powered eco-palpa that will be used here from this day on. He says the 46 kilowatt system with a 70 kilowatt per hour storage capacity will allow this factory run on solar energy for the next 25 years before the factory could need a change of the solar panels as well as 15 years for the lithium batteries being used as storage. If the power is not stable. Power from other sources will be secondary as the facility can run on this power even overnight, pulping coffee non-stop. Now it's a three-phase system. Um, the inverter is a 50 kilowatt uh, inverter that will be able to run 50 kilowatt of power. Now, in this factory, um, they have about 40 kilowatt, 35 to 40 kilowatt of the old system. The newer system is about uh, 12 and a half kilowatt, which is much better for the client. So there's a lot of reserve. Now, from the inverter, it also goes to the batteries. We have installed uh, uh, 14 batteries of a 5 kilowatt hour, that is about 70 kilowatt hour of storage. Now, the system is designed such that it will be able to run and charge at the same time. So that if they are running right now, during the day, they will not draw from the battery. They will draw from the sun directly to the, to the machines. Such that uh, after 5 o'clock, when the sun starts going down, the battery peaks automatically. You will not know you are running on battery. In the event that the batteries are also depleted, you'll also not know that Kenya Power has come in. We have, we have uh, put a seamless system that monitors one another. I actually monitor it from Nairobi. I can be able to tell when they're running, when they're not running, how the sun is, and how much we're harvesting. It is uh, pulping 5,000 kg per hour. The old machine is pulping 3,000 kg per hour. So, over time accrued when pulping, we will reduce. Solar power is efficient. There is no cost of power we are using. So it has reduced the power consumption to about, to, to, to about 80%. Nyeri County, being in a mountainous region, begs the question of viability since sunshine is not guaranteed all the time and weather patterns can change at any minute. Uh, the system is about... Um uh, per annum uh, energy is about 134 million kilowatt hours, uh, which will translate to about 110 uh, million pounds of carbon, carbon uh, uh, that will be saved. That is a, a big saving in terms of carbon, and therefore that makes it a green factory. We are using the N-type solar panel, which is uh, the latest uh, modern uh, uh, design of panels, which does not need necessarily a very heavy sun presence. Like now, you see the weather the, the way it is today, it is quite cloudy, it is charging. So this system will be able to run even in areas that are, are even uh, colder than this place. We expect our coffee to be 
zero carbon processed. And that way uh, we expect our, our coffee to fetch even more, uh, more prices in the, in the market. When we are using solar dryer, we, uh, we are not using Nilex, which covers the coffee outside here. We use allowed, uh, allowed 300,000 to 500,000. Now, that amount will now be reduced to about 100,000. With such heavy investments in clean energy, coffee farmers here in Kiandonieri County can only hope to reap big from their efforts in environmental conservation. We talk about gas Kama Citizen TV.